Hello, thank you for coming today and watch this video with me. I will have a quick tip for you today. It is about changing the language that Excel is displaying in the menus. So let's open Excel. We can see that my Excel is displaying in English and I have a special request to record a video in Portuguese. So I want to change Excel to Portuguese. The first thing I want to do is go to File and then Options and then look for Language and see if the language that I want is installed here. I already have Portuguese here and here for uh, office display language and for authoring languages and, pr and proofing. If you still don't have the language you need, you can come here, install additional display languages from office. From here, you would choose the language you need. Let's say I wanted Polish install. This will bring you to this page where you can click download. You may need to choose the appropriate version, 32-bit or 64-bit for your system. Then you download the file, you open the file and install it. And close Excel from there. Okay. At this point, I'm going to cancel here. And so starting over, assuming that you have the file installed, you go to File, Options, Language, choose the language you want, in this case Portuguese, set as preferred. You can also change the language under Office Authoring Languages and Proofing. Set as preferred. It will take effect the next time you start Office. So click Yes. OK. Please restart Office. So let's close. It's still displaying in English. Now let's open again. My Excel speaking Portuguese, displaying everything in Portuguese. So let's try a formula here. If I go and start typing VLOOKUP, you cannot find the formula because VLOOKUP is PROC V in Portuguese. Another thing is that important is that you see here the separators between the different parameters are commas. But in fact, in Portugal, because the comma is used as the decimal uh, separator, it cannot be used as separator in the formulas between the parameters. So we would like to have showing semicolon here. OK, let's go and take care of that. Let's go where it should say file, which is ficheiro in, in Portuguese, and go to Options and under Advanced, we should look for the separators. So, decimal separator, we need to be a comma, and the separator for the thousands in Portugal is the dot. So, it's switched when we compare with English. So, let's try now again. If you go Proc V, now we have the semicolon as separator between parameters. So if I wanted to select this cell, and then my separator will be semicolon and so forth. OK? So now you should have your Excel ready to work in this language that I chose to be Portuguese. I hope you like the video and the tip. I hope it is useful. If you want to stay on top of the next content that I am releasing, please remember to subscribe. And if you like the tip, remember to 
hit like below the video thank you so much and we will talk soon